All right, hello and welcome to episode 27 of my playthrough of Dial 20's 1.18 mod pack. Uh, we're standing here in the storage room um, just to kind of show you guys what I've done in between episodes. Hasn't really been a whole lot, but um, as you can see here, all of our ingots now, all of our processed stuff has now been moved into compacting drawers. So the reason we did that is just so that whenever we have to come into this little thingy and do crafting now, um, we can kind of see it here. Uh, we have access to both the, well, I guess all three of the nuggets, ingots, and block versions of items, which just makes life for like crafting super easy. It means they don't have to like grab blocks, uncraft the blocks, put them away, and then put the blocks back in or whatever. So you can see there we've got 2.1k and then 19,000 if I pull that out. Um, let's pull out like multiple stacks of copper. Uh, you see that, there we go. We lost a block of copper to be transformed into ingots. So yeah, we just have that nice and easy now for crafting and things like that. I don't need to worry about converting it. It's just auto converted inside the thing. Um, the next thing we need to do is last episode, I think we left the crafting grid uh, in the basement. So I've just made a hole here in the wall with a couple cables to it. Dunk, we're going to connect that and it's not lit up because we actually go to the basement and we look at here. It's actually not hooked up at all. So we're just going to run these real quick. Um, I don't think with this mod it really matters where you're connected to, right? Since we don't have channels to deal with, with refined storage. So that's all nice and connected. So now if we go back up to the top and let's say my, my, um, wireless crafting grid, uh, is like out of power or something, I can now access the entire grid in here. But today we are going to tackle something a bit different because if you notice that corner is empty. Um, our ore processing is now broken, right? Since we got rid of the node system. So uh, we're going to deal with that today. And I think we're going to deal with it using refined storage. Now, from what I was looking at, I think the correct item to do this, I was like, sorry, let's start again. I was thinking that we were going to have to use external, not external storage, importers and exporters, because obviously we want to import items into these machines and out of, but there's something called an interface. Now I haven't actually ever gone this far. Um, we can use the interface to interact with these items. And I think we should be able to set filters and like a bunch of other things with it. Um, but, uh, we are all going to figure that out together because I personally have no clue. Um, I think that's what we want, right? In, uh, the interfaces? I think the interfaces is what we want. So we want to make a couple of these. Um, smelting factory, enriching factory. Enriching factory is the one I want. Uh, what I'm actually also going to do is while, we, well, while we're working on this stuff, um, the beauty is that I need to go back upstairs to craft this. I want another smelting factory. So we go here to add Mac. Oh, that was the other thing I did as well. In this little thingy here, you have options about how the search box works. Um, so you can have it as normal mode. So I can search if normal mode, I can just search the um, the crafting grid. Then we can go auto selected. So now whenever I open it, it's order at automatically ready to type. Uh, but we have JEI synchronized two way. So now anything I type in here, as you can see, so we're going to add mechanism now affects both JEI and what's inside my grid. So yeah, we want to do that. Now I can look over here and craft all the things I want, but we want to make the energized smelter. I need more machine frames. Make like three of those energized smelter. Um, and then I want the basic tier upgrade. And then another advanced tier upgrade, I think. Um, if I could find it, but I seem to be blind. There we go. Basic tier installer. Dunk. Um, advanced tier installer. I need more advanced control circuits. This thing is so nice being able to have that. So we can pull these out. We're going to actually need these in our hands. And cool. So now what we're going to do is I'm just going to set this up. Where do I want to set this up? doesn't really matter where we just need to be able to get power to it and connect it to the system so let's just do it here because i don't think it really matters enriching factory smelting factory energized smelter we want to upgrade you with that and then we want to upgrade you with that and we want you an auto sort the both of you you as well 
Cool. So that's basic. We need to run power over to this. Um, and I probably want the power to go underneath. Does it matter? Yeah, I think I want power going onto the bottom of the block. So let's break these. Um, and there as well. Is this the way I want to run it? I don't think it really matters. What I'll do is I'll run it. No, we'll just have it going into the back, actually. That'll, that'll be easier to do. Um, of course, all my blocks ended up in here. Um, whoops, not that, that. Break that, though. And there. So we need to grab energy cables. How's our power generation going? We seem to be fine. I don't know how um power hungry refined storage is. Cool, and then what I'll do is I'll just run it. Ah, oh, there was power there. Inside the wall. To underneath. Well, we can break all those cables down then. That's fine. That's not that difficult to do. And I can't get out of here now. Um, yeah, these cables don't need to be here. I'm pretty sure I can use a wrench on these to just, like, get rid of them, can't I? I can't. Damn, that's annoying. Nah, whatever, we can break those later, who cares? It's minor aesthetic things. So now all of these guys have power? Beautiful. So the next thing we want to make... Is I think each one of these is going to want to have an interface. If, if that's how I want to do this, so I want to go into my crafting grid uh, here, refine storage. And we want to make interfaces. So I'm going to need exporters, which means I need more of these bad boys. Make some of those. Um, constructor, deconstructor, grid. Uh, we want exporters. I'm going to want three of these, aren't I? So what am I missing in there? I think I'm missing cables in there. Two. Um, and I need more deconstruction. Or improved, rather. Oh, do we not have any more? Okay, cool. Uh, we will eventually... Oh, what am I missing? Silicon. Um... Quartz. Got plenty of another quartz, we'll just spelt that up. Uh, we're going to need to work on some automation for this stuff, I think, because crafting all these things by hand um, isn't the most fun thing in the world. And since we have these machines, it shouldn't be too difficult to do. But we'll deal with that when the time comes, because uh, right now I just need my silicon. Bang, bang, bang. Alright, cool. So we want to go back to our refined storage. We want an interface. We want these ones. I need improved processes. Let's make like... 14 of them. I don't know, random number. Doesn't really matter how many we choose. Um, and we'll speed this up while we're here. Cool. Now they can go back into here. I want to make exporter. So we've got three of those. I'm going to want three importers. I need more. It's the one destruction cores or whatever they're called. Cool. Oh my god, now we want machine frames. One, two, three. And then three of these. One. What am I missing? Did I not make the importers? Did I only make one? Two, three. Bang, interface, bang. Cool. Um, we're going to put one of these on top of each of these blocks, and now they should be able to see. Yeah, they go interface import, interface export. Exact mode on redstone signal. Yeah, okay. So I think... I actually don't know how this works. Um, I'm going to turn on the side here. 
auto eject off and then I want to clear side and then on the bottom is just going to be energy on all of these the energy on the bottom and then on the top we want input output on all of these right because I don't want them pushing to each other we want refined storage to deal with all of that um, importing and exporting of stuff um, beautiful okay so that's all import export so we've got two now uh, smelters and we got one enriching factory because we seem to be enriching things faster than we can smelt it so that's just how we're going to deal with it now with this interface export interface import okay let's just do some testing we'll figure this out together i guess uh we just need to hook these up now with cables and then we can look at here we can see that the three interfaces have shown up on the on the grid cool so let's say okay we want on this one we want the raw blocks of stuff so let's say we want the raw block of iron here we go so it's going to export raw blocks of iron into the bottom side config auto eject off right and then we're going to import back into it um what do you turn into it's dust or something isn't it iron dust so here iron dust is now the import no that's not working Cancel. How do I clear it? Right click middle mouse. I don't know how we clear that. Oh, that's funny. I can actually, am I pulling stuff out of the, the network through that? Okay. To transport a config. Strict input off. I don't know what strict input does. On the top. I don't know what this is doing. I probably should have researched this before doing it, but we're, we're learning together, right? Because I know what I want this to do. We want the interfaces to like put stuff into the enriching factory and then pull things out and then back into these other ones. Right, because I know for you, for sure, I want the iron dust to end up into that. Do you still have all your upgrades in there? Apparently not. Okay, so now you got 12 iron dust. So why are you not pulling out iron dust? Interface import. Okay, so then I want auto eject on to the top and that should work. So now if I put blocks of iron in here, we should see them disappear and then go into the interface. Yeah, they are. Okay. And then if we go here and we look at iron dust, right? We're gaining iron dust into here. Am I, am I missing something? All right, we're fine. It's probably one of these um upgrades that I'm missing. Speed upgrade, range upgrade, crafting upgrade. What does crafting upgrade do? Uh, can I make one of those? No, because I'm missing a bunch of quartz and rich iron. Maybe that's what I need. Hold on, let's make a bunch of this stuff. Um, crafting upgrade, and then I need these ones. One of you. Mm. 
Yeah, right. No, because it's it's doing its job. It's like pulling these things out and then leaving them in the interface. But the the mechanism machine isn't picking up what I want it to. Um, we want you to be auto eject on on all of these. So is it transporter config? Is this why it's not working? So I want input. Side config, input, output, purple, top. All right. Yeah, so I think that's why it's happening. She's mechanism isn't pulling for some reason. So it's not the crafting upgrade. It's because this isn't pushing it to it. Range, crafting, stack, filter, pattern, regulator, fortune. Upgrade, speed upgrade, range upgrade. Well, what I can do, actually. What I can do. All right, we, we, we can do this. Um, it's not going to be perfect, but uh, it is working, technically. Um, refined storage is seeing everything. It's just that a mechanism isn't pulling it out of the interface into the... Um, into the... What's the word? machines. So what we're going to use is a mixture of refined storage and that's what we want speed upgrades and laser IO, I think. So each of these are going to get a node. Bang, bang, bang. And then on top of the node, we're going to get the interface. Cool. And the interfaces interact with each other. Cool. So this one we want on the top. Well, wow, none of this is on on the upside, we want an extract and it doesn't need to be any special because it's just going to do that, right? So now it's extracting and then on the downside, we want an insert. Right? Why is this not working now? Is that not... Oh, maybe do you... No, you don't have any filters. Default, exact mode, doesn't matter. You should just be pulling everything. Why are you not working, sir? Okay, it's because my insert card had a thing. Oh, I need to pull all my cards out of this bad boy. Anything. Um, I need to shift right click that. And get rid of the filters and settings that they have on them. Yeah, I think that's what was breaking it, was the filters. So let's um quickly just go through here and clear all these out. Yeah, cool. Now they're stacking with each other. One, two, three, four... Five. And the fluid cards aren't going to stack with each other anyway. Pull that out, pull that out. Right now, you and you. You and you. That, and then that, and that. Now you do that, cool. So that's why it wasn't working. And then on the bottom card, on the downside, we want to also just have an item card that's set to extract. And then on the top side, we want an insert. I don't think it needs to be anything too crazy other than that. Um, but on this one, on the one that's on the downside, this extract, we want the overclockers. So on the downside extract, we want overclockers. As fast as you can. Cool. Now it's just going to pull everything out. Beautiful. Okay, so that's that one. So now all we have to do on the interface here is then set in the interface import. Uh, we need stack upgrades on this as well, actually. Um, where's my stack upgrade? 
Okay, we're figuring it out. That feels good. Stack upgrade. On you. Bang. And now you're going to import the iron dust back into the system. So now if we go here, and we look at iron dust, we should see this number go up by a lot every single time. Beautiful. That's, that's working exactly how I want it to. So now on this one, we're going to want the same thing. So on, on the down, on the north side, oh no, sorry, the downside, we want one that's, so we want two cards, one of them set to extract. Um, and then the same thing on the top side, we want two cards, one of them set to extract. Same thing on this one. Bang, bang, extract. Oops, on, you're on the wrong side there. There, and then on the downside, one, two, extract. Beautiful. And now on the interface, we want iron dust on the export, and then same thing on U. And now we're going to be auto smelting that stuff. So now what we want to do is we want to do that with every single um, uh, raw, whatchamacallit, that we had, that we had set in the filter. So now we go here and we go raw and then just block. So we want copper, we want gold, we want uh, zinc we can't do with this, so I think it's silver, nickel, and uh, we can check all of these recipes just to make sure that they have an enrichment chamber recipe. Raw uranium. So the block of the raw uranium it can do, but we don't actually get blocks of raw uranium. So osmium we know for a fact, tin we can, lead we can. Okay. I think we're working beautifully here. Now, and we're keeping up. Oh, this one's super slow. Why are you so fast? Oh, you got speed and energy upgrades as well. Um, I do have extra speed upgrades. Okay, that interface isn't having issues. These, these are all fine, that's all working. Cool. Now that's working. So we got this one all set with all these blocks. Now on this one we want the dusts. So we want dust. Uh, crap. So we want iron dust, we want copper. Oop, what did I do? Copper dust. Uh, gold dust. We want... I'm already forgetting. Silver, nickel, osmium. Dust. Ooh, what does silver dust turn into? Raw silver. Yeah. Silver grit, that's what it's called. That's why I can't find it. Silver grit. Ah, uh, nickel. Nickel grit. Osmium tin lead. Me, um. Dust. Tin. Dust. And then there's lead dust as well. Dirty lead dust. No, I want regular lead dust. There we go. Lead dust. Bang. So now this is working through silver. I think this is working beautifully. Like exactly how we want it to. Um, this extract on the down though needs to be upgraded. I think we're just going to do that on all of them. Just let them transfer eight on the extract on the down. And that one we just have overclocked because it needs to be super quick. Um, now it's just the insert speed on this one as well. So you will transfer to 8. We'll just um, overclock all of these to like the highest that we can. Oops, not priority 10. 
priority is not what we want to do. Um, it's just the extract cards that we want to have the highest number on right. Beautiful. And the same thing with you. Extract 8. And then on the uh, upside, extract 8. We can't change the speed of the insert. No, we can't. Cool. Then on you, bang, 8. And then on the upside, you, 8. Now, I can't tell. I think these just need speed upgrades now. As far as I can tell. Because we're having issues with, like, then the, uh, the smelting factory isn't getting full enough quick. So we want speed upgrades. Two, three. Let's just do three of them. One, two, three. Maybe not. And see, so you should be pulling out eight of every item every set, uh, every twenty ticks. Maybe that's the problem, is that these aren't fast enough. Uh, do I have any more overclocker cards? Overclock. This one's bang. Let's just make, I think it's a max of like four in each, so let's just make a bunch of them, because we will use them eventually. So let's say on the downside we want it to be... No, sorry, it's on the upside, we want the extract to be faster. right yeah on the upside we want the extract to be faster and then same with you on the upside we want to extract from the top yeah so it'll be the top side that we want to extract as fast as we can transfer amount 64 every tick yeah there we go now we can see this thing is filling up super quick beautiful that is satisfying. You. All the way around. 64 every tick. Um, we can probably do the same thing on this one though. I probably won't affect it as much. Uh, I would, on the upside is what I wanted. Yes, sweet. And now we can see this just filling up with stuff quickly. How's that power generation looking while this is running? Oh, not good at all. Absolutely not good. Oh, yikes. I think it's because I have the speed upgrades in this bad boy. Okay, let's um, let's make these um energy upgrades because we were going to make them before anyway. <laughs> oh my god. Energy upgrades. We want a ton of these. I think it's eight per machine, isn't it? Speed. Energy. Yeah, it's a total of eight. Okay, cool. How are you with power? Oh, you're barely managing. Speed, you've already got your eight in there. Do you have energy upgrades? You don't. Okay, we need to make more of these then. What am I missing? glass. Uh, do we have sand in here? No, we don't. Do I have sand in here? Oh, not a lot. Um. Okay, how do we get sand? Well, not a lot of it, because... Dang. Um... Let's grab that silicon while we're here. No wireless transmitter in range. Oh, it's because we have no power. Oh no, this is like falling apart. Okay, we have no power going to this thing. Oh, we're bad times. Bad times. Especially, oh, bad times, bad times. Um, okay, we need to fix this quickly. Now I have no access to my items. 
because power is turned off. Uh, we need to manage this. Okay, let's just make a bunch more windmills for the time being. Um, crap, but okay, I need to turn you off. You're not allowed to be working anymore. Can I pause you? Okay, yeah, we can, we can, we can switch these off for the time being. What else is eating my power? Or is it transfer speed that we're like losing out on? I think it's transfer speed. Can I access? No, there's not enough power in here. That's power generation that we're struggling with. Jeez, man. Um, okay, we can fix this uh, really quickly. I just need coal. Oh, I can't. Okay, no, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. Coal I can access. Coal I can get to. Let's just grab the stack of coal blocks. We, we can fix this, like, for the time being, but we need to deal with power generation. I think that's the next thing we need to fix. That's next episode's issue, but uh, let's throw that away. Into you. Let's put that. Alright, and then into you, we can put that. And this is our emergency power generation. Okay, cool. We have this turned back on. Oh, bad times, bad times. We want windmills. And energy storage tablets. One, two, three, four, five, six. We'll make three more. One two, three. Why am I having like all these random things in my inventory? Okay. Bad times, bad times. Slight panic, but we should be okay here in a second. Okay, how's our power downstairs looking? Everything is turned off though, so it's not going to be an accurate representation. Um, are you gaining power now? Significantly. No, you are not. Is power transfer our problem? 412. A tick. Max input is 6.9k FE a tick. I can't tell where our bottleneck is. What are these allowed to do? Capacity 3 point... Yeah, that's why. I think that's why is because our cables aren't great. Can we upgrade our cables? Yeah, okay. I think that's what we need to do is we need to upgrade these. Uh, cable. Oh my god, do I not... Do I really not have more? Alright, that's fine. What we can do is... Um, these ones need to be changed to advance. I think that's where our problem is laying at the problem at the moment. Three, four. Six. So now we definitely have no power going in, but. I mean, really, they're not generating a whole heap of power anyway, though, are they? I mean, it doesn't hurt to upgrade this stuff, but I don't think that's where our problem is. Our power generation is just, um, just lacking at the moment. Okay, at least this way it looks like it's stably increasing a bit more, but we need more windmills then. Um, what, what can we do? What's mechanism got for power gen? 
Uh, I think it's actually called at mechanism power, isn't it? Panic mechanism generators. Advanced solar panels. You do 80k FE. No, that's what you can store. Do, are you better then? Can we make this? I need more red alloy. Uh, which means I need my redstone machine. Which means I need to enrich more redstone. Alright, I'm going to work on getting some of this stuff prepped for next episode. I think that's where we're going to leave this one. Uh, we got, I guess, all processing up and running, but <laughs> uh, we cannot sustain it because our power generation is severely lacking. But hey, progress is progress, all right? So I think we'll deal with that. Um, next episode, we'll come back and deal with power generation. I'm going to do some... Uh, what's the word? Some, some thinking between this episode and next and figure out how we're going to solve power. At least this early. I think I want to deal with, um, what's it called? These gem looking thingies. Uh, where are they? Do, 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 do. Of course, when I want to think, it's not showing me what I want to find. These things. Resonating crystal. Deep resonance. That's the one. I want to try to use these things as like emergency power. Because they're kind of cool and I want to learn how this works. But... That's, like I said, a next episode thing. Um, but we'll leave it there. Anyone who's still watching, thanks for watching. And we'll see you all then. All right, peace.